We're back out here on Rancho Del Arroyo, and today we're going to be doing something pretty special. Right in front of us here, we have Chance. He's going to be joining us, and we're going to be doing a pheasant hunt with the recurve bow. Holy, we just hit the absolute jackpot on all animals here. We got a bunch of whitetail, including this beautiful whitetail buck there that's borderline time potential. But then we got a bunch of turkeys here and a couple of beautiful rooster pheasant out there. Um, I know we're hunting pheasant. But because this giant beautiful whitetail is right here and we have a perfect win, we're going to sneak up on him and try and take him down with a recurve bow because there's no way I'm about to pass that up. And actually, if we stay behind these cactuses here, there's a pretty nice little brush row where it will pretty much conceal all of our surroundings here, including chance. All right, there we go. We're approaching on 60 yards out from these whitetail here. I don't exactly know which one our giant buck is, but something tells me we should be able to figure it out pretty quickly. In fact, I think that's going to be him right there at about 50 yards out from us. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Chance to lay down and have him stay right there so we can get just a little bit closer up on this buck here. I'll take him at 40 if I have to, but ideally I'd like to be around 30 and be able to stand up, draw back and let one fly. All right, let's see what we're dealing with here. We're looking at about 44, and there's actually like a pretty cool little hill right here where we should be able to swing around and kind of stay up on the high where we can stay prone almost the entire time until we get to a position like this where we're sitting at 26 yards out from that giant buck, which is absolutely perfect. Now we're gonna crouch up, draw back, and let one fly what an epic shot dropped him all right so actually we might not even spook that rooster pheasant so we'll kind of slide on over there in hopes that maybe that rooster might be a little spookish but eventually he should calm down to where we can get in position and try and take a shot and also i suppose we can call a chance over here because now the buck's are already down. Oh, check it out, jackpot. It did not spook our pheasant. Wow. We got a nice rooster right there and the other one is right next to him. Man, that worked out so good. All right, so we're gonna pick up this buck and then we'll try and get position on these nice pheasants. But here he is, our beautiful white tail buck down right here. In fact, I think that might make for a pretty cool picture. With Chance just like that. Come on, Chance, look this way. There we go. That'll work. And let's go prone and pick him up. It's going to be a 216 gold, and we made a beautiful double lung shoulder blade shot at 27 yards out. I mean, talk about right on the money there. Look at that shot placement. What a perfect shot. And the recurve bow again, showing us just how good it actually can do. All right, guys, there's our pheasant right there. 40 yards out. I'm going to try and flush him up. I'm going to try and flush him up. Come on. No, don't run. Don't run. Fly. Come on. Fly, 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 fly. Oh, my God. First shot. We got him. You got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Chance, come on, buddy. Oh my god, I can't believe it. The first shot with the recurve bow on a rooster pheasant, and we got him. Pretty good blood right there, actually. Come on, Chance. Find him up. Oh, he sees him. He sees him. Hey, there he is. Good job. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, buddy. Took him at 27 yards out, got him in the wing, a 13.8 rooster pheasant. And our first rooster down with a recurve bow in the air at 27 yards out. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Chance. Thanks so much for the help, buddy. And we're getting him mounted because that's a very, very special rooster right there. Wow. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. 
Atta boy. All right, what do you say we try and get some more now, huh? Sounds good to me. Now, I know we're pheasant hunting, but it appears something else is pheasant hunting as well. And for us to have a really good time pheasant hunting, we gotta take out the other hunter. As in this bobcat. It's not a bad size one. But how in the heck am I supposed to pull off this shot when he keeps on running around like that? All right, it looks like he's kind of slowing up a little bit here. There we go. Oh, I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Nice shot. Nice shot. All right, a hen pheasant is calling, but pretty awesome shot there with the AR-223. Now, the thing is, if it had a little more knockdown power, then that bobcat right there would have done like a friggin' backflip and it would have been super epic. But for the time being, the AR-223 just doesn't have that knockdown power that we're quite looking for. So that's all the really better that we can pretty much get on that shot. All right, buddy, come on, find him up, find him up. We just saw him run over here. He shouldn't have gone too far. Oh, coyote. Ooh, ooh, male coyote too. And they actually do hunt pheasants as well. So if we get eyes on him, then we should definitely take him down as soon as possible. And it's going to be very difficult to see him. But for the time being, we're going to go over here, grab this bobcat. We'll take it easy. I don't want to exactly spook that uh, coyote out of this country. So we'll just take it easy, come over here, grab this bobcat, swing back around, and hopefully find the coyote. Hey, look at that. Pulled off a nice gold 24.3, and it's a great, actually kind of a perfect shot. Right on the money, 190 yards out, right lung liver shot there. That is definitely not a coyote, but it is a white-tailed deer, a white-tailed doe. Ooh, we got a gobbler. All right, so we got a nice tom turkey out there. And I still don't see that coyote yet. But he definitely called over there somewhere. So we'll keep a lookout. These coyotes are very, very difficult to see. I feel like the bobcats are almost easier because they kind of stand out. They're so bright compared to the coyotes. The coyotes just like blend into their... To their oh, look what we found. That's pretty sweet right there. That's really, really cool. It looks to be a light brown. Is that a light brown or is that an albino? That kind of looks like it might be an albino. Either way, I would love to try and call him in. Or at least try and sneak up on him. So we'll have Chance again lay down. And I think I might just like hang tight right here to be honest. I mean, he's coming right perfect. Look at this. Yeah, he's coming perfect. So let's just hang tight right here. Let him... Oh my god, that actually might be a leucistic. I'm pretty sure it's a leucistic. Either way, he's working his way in nicely. I don't exactly know if we have the collar on us or not. So we'll just kind of let him come in nice and easy. Should come into there, which will put him at about 40 yards out. And yeah, I could take a 40 yard shot for sure. Right there, he's about 50. All right, just let him keep coming. Okay, he's 40 yards right there. All right, let's draw back. Gobble, gobble. Got him! Shot was a little bit low, so I put a nice follow-up in him. And the second shot was money. I wasn't exactly sure how far out he was, so uh, I kind of just held a little bit low to play it safe. But dude, what did we just get? That is definitely not a light brown. That's a super rare turkey we just shot. That's a super rare turkey. I think that might actually be a leucistic or potentially even an albino. All right, Chance, come on over here. You got to get in this picture. This is going to be a super epic picture. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Okay, buddy, sit right there. Good job. Man, that's going to make for an incredible picture. Wow, look at that. Holy. What a beautiful turkey. All right, let's pick it up and find out exactly what it is. It's a leucistic and it's a gold. No way. That's a rare turkey, a rare gold gobbler. Oh my God. Took him at 29 yards out. The first shot was 
a bit low, but honestly, if you're turkey hunting with a bow, they actually say you want to find their back hind leg and go straight up, right where the wing meets the leg. Because even if you do hit the leg, they're not going to go that far. So we were just a tad bit low, but then the second shot, like I said, was perfect. Got a nice left lung, 30 yards out, and a 4.2 gold rare leucistic tom turkey down. And with the recurve bow at that, wow. So a lot of you guys don't know, or maybe you do, but the uh, the light brown turkeys right now are not considered a rare. They're more of a slightly uncommon. And actually, I've been seeing them quite often, so I don't even know if you'd call them uncommon. I think they're just more of a common now. But anyways, this here is a rare, an official rare turkey. I haven't even heard of anybody getting one of these in a long time. And I honestly don't know if I've ever gotten one before. Look at what we just found right over the corner here. Two beautiful rooster pheasants here. One of them's actually a guaranteed goal potential rooster. So he's right there about 50 yards out. But here's the thing though. If we went directly at him from this angle here, what's going to happen is he's going to flush out right into that woods there and we're never going to get a shot. So we actually got to try and like hook around them and push them back out to the left side here where we could potentially get a shot going out into this field. Because yeah, if we don't do that, then it's probably not going to work out. Nonetheless, here we go. Here we go. Let's get ready for this, guys. We're looping around hard to the right. And now we're going to come in and try and flush them directly away from us here. So let's see if we can get them to flush up. All right. I think this is definitely the big one here. Can't get them all. Can't get them all. It's okay, guys. We're going to go over here and try and flush them up again. All right. I'm pretty sure I just found our two roosters. The big one should be right behind that one there. Um, I only see one right now. Oh, there he is right there. All right. So this time we're going to take our time and I'm not going to run at them until they decide to turn and try and run away. When they do that, then that's when I'm going to run at them. But I really, really want to try and get this big rooster here because he's definitely a guaranteed gold. All right. So he's going to hang tight in that grass right there. Oh, it looks like they're going to feed right there. They're getting spookish already. Now we're already in range, so we're going to run at them and try and flush them out. Come on. I really wish they would flush up. Oh, I had no clue where he was flying. He juked me pretty hard, to be honest. Wait, where's the other rooster? Whew, this is not easy. Alright guys, I found him. I finally caught up to him and figured out where he went. And there's our giant rooster right there. But there's also a big old Max Blade Gobbler here as well. So, I'm thinking we might be able to double up here. Check this out. What if we sneak over there, take down this Gobbler, and then um, end up spooking the rooster as well. Because eventually he's got to fly up. So it could work out perfect. Or it could not. You never know what's going to happen. But I'm going to try and make it happen. Here he comes. Oh my god, the big gobbler's coming right for us. He's about 50 yards out, coming right for us. Dude, this is going to work out so perfect. Six turkeys out there, including this max weight gobbler right here. He's about 40 yards out. I could definitely take that shot. And I think I might. Oh, drilled him. Hit him a little far back, but that's going to be intestine, and that's going to take him down pretty nicely. All right, then I almost forgot. We got a rooster pheasant right here, which he's in a perfect spot to be able to flush out here. So keep an eye on him. He's going to be the one on the left, I believe. Oh, our turkey just piled up. So he's the one out in the front. Um, He's going to be that one right there. Should be. Yep, that's him. That's him. Come on. Come on. Fly. Come on. 
So if you cut them off, it might actually get them to fly. Or maybe not. Dude, I couldn't even see where he went. Oh, man, this is so hard. All right, I'll tell you what, we're going to go grab this turkey quick and hopefully we can find this pheasant again. Here's our turkey down right here, 4.4, pretty good size, 134 yards out. But this pheasant here has been very, very difficult. Now, I don't know if it's because he's actually goal potential or what, but he's definitely not easy to get. What's going on, Chance? What is going on? What happened? All right, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Wait, that's not the right one. Oh, one of these should be him. Yeah, that's him, that's him, that's him. All right, come on. Oh my God, I thought I had him. Dude, how the heck did I miss that shot? Come on, come on, come on. I can't miss again. There's no way I'm gonna miss two times. No! Oh my God. Oh, there is no reason I should have missed that shot. Oh man, they're going all the way to that woods, aren't they? Oh uh, no, it looks like they're slowing up a little bit there. Wait, I only see one rooster. Are they both going there? No, there's only one there. Where's the other one? It might be in there. Oh, I don't see it. Got it. That's not the right one, but we definitely got. Oh, dude, we smoked that one. <laughs> we smoked it. He went down almost instantly. That should be the other rooster. No, uh, those are both hens. Well, he's got to be around here somewhere. But hey, another rooster pheasant is down. Whether it's the biggest one or not, that doesn't really matter. We got this guy down 23 yards out. Another wing shot, 12.4 brown rooster pheasant. Mid flight again with the recurve bow. Oh my God, jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. We found him. He's right there. Dude, he was hiding on the edge of that tree and we never saw him because I'm pretty sure the other one flushed up like 20 yards to the right side of him. But he's right there with the hen. He should flush up. No, don't go that way. Oh, you can go that way. Definitely, you could go that way. Oh! Oh, man. I don't even know where to aim anymore. He flew at like such a weird angle. How the heck did I miss that shot? Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm, oh, I can't even take it anymore. Oh. There he goes, there he goes. Oh my God, that's not even the right one. That's a freaking giant. Wait, is that a, uh, is that either a molting or an albino? Are you kidding me right now? What am I, what am I looking at here? What in the heck is that? Okay, it's a molting, but it's a giant, giant molting. Look at that. You can barely even see him in there. I can't. It's him. Oh my God, it's him. You can barely see this thing in there, guys. Look at this rooster. Look at where he was hiding. You got to be kidding me. He was hiding inside of there. We couldn't even see him. What a beautiful rooster, though. Come on, just please jump up. Just jump up straight away from us, please. Just turn. Don't go that way, please. No, 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 don't, don't go this way. Come on, please. Just fly. Just fly straight up right there. Oh, that one was a bad shot. Oh my God, I thought we had him. Oh my God, there he is right there, finally. Man, if you would just fly directly away from me. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! We finally got him! We finally got him! And now what do we get him? We dropped him! 
It's a 16.3 gold gray rooster pheasant, and we pulled off a flying Texas hard shot, and we actually did make a hard shot at 10 yards away with the recurve bow. I honestly can't even see the heart from this angle here. I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit more maybe and uh, see if you can see it, but <laughs> we got him. We got him. It took us seven different attempts to try and get not only this rooster, but we were trying to get a different rooster, which was a little bit smaller than this one, but this was actually bigger and it was cooler because this is a gray. This is a mounter either way. And uh, I didn't try and make that rhyme, but um, wow. So officially this is our third attempt tactically at this pheasant. But the other pheasant, I think we went after about five times. So in total, we went after him about eight different times and we finally got him. Oh my God, it couldn't have worked out any better than that. Finally. Man, if you would just fly directly away from me. Yes, yes, oh my God, we finally got him. Let's just say this took about two and a half hours of real lifetime. I got so uh, stressed out at trying to get this pheasant or even the big one before that, that I had to stop, take a break, Go eat lunch, refresh myself, um, have some nice sweet tea with water because I don't like it too sweet. And uh, came back and the next attempt, we pull off a friggin' heart shot. Mid flight on a big old gold gray rooster pheasant. So yeah, anyways, that's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.